So look, yeah, I'm right back with another one, man. Y'all know. Check this out, man. I'm on my petty shit. Because y'all know I don't get no fucks. <laughs> I, I'm on my own page. And I'm on all bullshit, man. Um, so look, man. Mikey Garcia fought Jesse Vargas last night, man. And he didn't even sell out the fucking Frisco, Texas. So my thing is... Um, my thing is... Mikey Garcia couldn't sell out before... Or after Earl Spence. Ain't, ain't that crazy? You feel me? And then, the crazy thing is, Mikey Garcia was running around this bitch talking about some, uh, what'd he say? <laughs> talking about some, uh, Earl Spence can't, can't sell by himself. And he sold most of them pay-per-views. And he sold most of them tickets. And even had fans repeating that shit after him. So, I gotta get on y'all ass, you feel me? One video ain't enough. I had to double back with this shit, man. So look. Mikey Garcia, man, been playing on race, man, with a with a lot of this shit, man. First he uh he couldn't even sell out with Robert Easter in LA in his hometown against a black fighter, you know? So he was screaming Earl Spence's name all this time, man, and he and he was having some momentum. So him and Earl Spence fought, and they sold like forty eight, fifty thousand tickets at the Cowboy Stadium, and people going back and forth talking about who the fuck sold the tickets and shit like that. But how the fuck Michael Garcia sell the tickets when he when Earl Spence outsold him before they even fought? He, he sold out the Ocampo fight in Frisco, Texas, but Michael Garcia can't sell out. With another fucking Mexican in Frisco, Texas. Make that make sense, bro. Make that shit make sense. So, with that being said, after Earl Spence for Mikey Garcia, he sold out again with Sean Porter in L.A. In Mikey Garcia hometown. He sold out at Mikey Garcia hometown in L.A. versus Sean Porter. Sean Porter was a motherfucker that couldn't sell out a family dinner. Remember? So... That happened and sold the same amount of pay-per-views that he sold with Mikey Garcia. So, if Earl Spence did that shit, what did Mikey Garcia actually do? Nothing. So, <laughs> I just <laughs> I just had to shut you niggas down, man. Hope y'all watch my video, too. Look at that shit. Section closed, motherfucker. Section closed, no access. Because we, cause nobody want to sit there. <laughs> Come on, man. Stop playing, man. Y'all know what the fuck going on. Y'all know that boy EJ, man, sold them goddamn tickets and them pay-per-views. And Mikey Garcia, man, ain't nobody want to see your ass, boy. Unless you fighting a fighter we like. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't fighting Bud, you ain't fighting Danny Garcia, then you ain't going to really do too much, you know? And that's just the real facts about the situation. But like I said, you feel me? Mikey Garcia couldn't sell out. More than Earl Spence before they fought or after they fought. And these facts, this ain't no opinion. It's just, it's just real shit. Do your research because I just did my, you know what I'm saying? I've been following this shit the whole time. You feel me? Because I knew what the fuck was going on. You feel me? I was at the Earl Spence versus Mike Garcia fight. I seen everybody with the man down fucking girl. I never seen a boxer sell that as much merch as Earl Spence do in boxing, period. Ain't no other boxer right now unless we talking some fucking Mayweather, TMT shit. Other than that, no other boxer sell as much merch as Earl Spence does. And when I went to that Cowboys Stadium fight, and I drove from St. Louis to fucking Dallas, Texas, bro. Fucking nine and a half hours. When I drove there, that, that that shit was packed out, man. That shit was packed out. And when the C left in that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And and soon I went to go get me one of them fat ass burgers. You know what I'm saying? They were selling some big ass, huge ass burgers at the little uh in the little middle part in the stand where they were selling the food. Man, all I seen was man down even motherfucking Mexican people. Yeah, I got you. Hold on. Here I come. But yeah, when I bought that fat ass burger, like I said, <laughs> I seen a whole bunch of Mexicans and shit with men down clothing on. When I went to their mall in Dallas, Texas, I seen a whole bunch of Mexicans with men down 
the night of the fight. My man down, fucking t-shirts on, they were blue, you know what I'm saying, a whole bunch of different little color. Man, that boy sold hella merch, but he sold more merch than Mikey Garcia sold tickets. <laughs> but that's that, man, y'all know, man, I got to get on my bullshit. But this real shit, though, you know what I'm saying, all facts, nothing made up. Do your research if you don't believe me, and that's that, and I'm out.